reminds me of like a flat organizational structure sort of thing um, rather than hierarchy, um, which I think that flat structure like at work, it just makes it a lot easier to learn and a lot, it's like a, a safer place to make mistakes. So you can say an answer in class and you don't feel like if I get it wrong, then my teacher's gonna be, you know, disappointed. They'll just be like, oh, thank you for contributing, you know, on move on sort of. But yeah, to me, it just is um, kind of about the power between the um, students and the teachers. Yeah, for me, it redefines the role of the, the lecturers and the tutors as someone who was an instructor to become someone who is a facilitator. And it became, the, the, the staff became more tools for me rather than uh, me just following the manual. And so it became more self-directed in the sense of what do I want to learn? What skills do I want to develop? And then how can I develop that in this tutorial um, and engage with peer feedback and instructor feedback um, to support that? And so the whole, um, especially in the tutorials, the whole sense of setting goals at the start of the class um, in relation to that week's lecture content, and then being able to work on that skill uh, throughout the two hour session and get that feedback from peers and from our tutor was really beneficial for me. And instead of sort of, as I said before, following that manual, it was how can I use the people around me as a resource to support my learning. Yeah, I think everything that's been said so far, I fully agree with. I guess from a different perspective, the, the whole, uh, one of the key success like parameters that will make the, this, this whole flipped classroom work is that it demands a lot more from the students. Uh, um, and that is the challenge when people don't really have that mindset going in, or perhaps they need to stretch themselves immediately just to get with the times. So you probably noticed, well, I'm sure you noticed a lot of the cameras were off, you know, and obviously that's a challenge for the, the, the teacher and the students themselves. So students being able to take ownership is a crucial element for the flipped classroom to work. And I think it will take time for students to catch on, uh, to take an initiative, whether it's, you know, the workplace, studies, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's... Yeah. 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 Thank you very much uh, for this critical perspective. Because uh, what's one of the biggest uh, issues is that uh, even though students seem enthusiastic uh, at the beginning, uh, it really like really I need to read everything before I come to class. Really, you're not going lecture me. You're not going to tell me what I'm supposed to do. And this is where it's, it becomes very, very difficult. Some students potentially could see it as like an easier way out for teachers, but because instead of them, like then it's not as apparent to the students how well the teachers know the content because people might be thinking, you know, the teacher's not actually teaching me the content. So there might be questions about, you know, if the lecturer can actually lecture, you know, I don't know, that didn't really come out very smoothly, but I think some students might not understand that making a flipped classroom is a lot more work than it seems. And it's probably a lot more work than it would be to just do a regular lecture where you're reading off the slides because you've got to, you know, be responsive to the class um, rather than just presenting the, uh, the same information every single semester, every single year. Um, so I don't know how you would address that. I guess it just depends on the lecturer and how, how they, present themselves, I guess, and how enthusiastic they are. 